Welcome to another episode of Beyond Cheese of Detective Gomez Files. I'm your host, Detective Gomez. Uh, first thing I want to say is I want to thank everybody for watching and listening today. Um, with my sincerity, I really appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe and uh, share this with your friends. But today we're talking about O.J. Simpson, number 32, played for the Buffalo Bills. Uh, he passed away on April 10th of 2024 at 76 years old. He passed away from prostate cancer. Oh. Uh, O.J. Simpson, when I say number 32, I think back to when I was in high school or, or when I was growing up. I remember O.J. Simpson. We used to watch him on television. We used to watch him with uh, along with Franco Harris, Larry, Larry Zonka, um, Tony Dorsett. You know, Tony Dorsett was number 33. Franco Harris was number 32. Larry Zonka was number 39. They were in the 30s. Everybody wanted to be a running back. Wanted to be one of those numbers because that's what the coolest number to have. But actually, number 32 was the best number to have. But that was OG Simpson's number. He played for the Buffalo Bills, won the Heisman Trophy in 1968. And uh, after that, he began making commercials. Uh, he, he was most famous for that commercial with Hertz Rent a Car. It says you're a superstar and renting, renting a car from Hertz Rent a Car. He would jump over the uh, suitcases in the airport and try to get to his uh, uh, airplane on time and everybody wanted to be like O.J. Simpson. Uh, he was also in a couple of movies. He was in a movie called Tyring Inferno. He was in a movie called The Naked Gun. A movie called Capricorn One. He had a, you know, somewhat of a decent acting career after the, the NFL. He was also on Monday Night Football in the early 80s. Uh, I think he did three seasons of Monday Night Football. So O.J. Simpson did a lot. Um, after he quit playing football. And everybody liked him. He's one of these guys, a real likable guy, very, 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 you know, likable. And then in the early 90s, he got into some trouble. Um, his wife, uh, Nicole Brown, I was, you know, when you look at celebrities, you never know what's going on behind the scenes. You never know what's happening. And from what I've read is that the police were called to the house nine times for arrested him for domestic you know for domestic violence the police never arrested him um, constantly arguing and then one day uh, after they were divorced he shows up and Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown were together and both of them tragically lost their life and O.J. Simpson was accused of murdering both of them. There was a car chase down the L.A. Uh, freeway. And on June 17, 1994, big car chase. Everybody watched it on TV. I saw it on TV. I was like, wondering what's going on? One of his buddies was driving a white Ford Bronco. He was running from the, you could see like 20 police cars right behind him. He was threatening to kill himself. They arrest him, take him into custody. And the next thing you know, we have this thing called the trial of the century. Where OJ Simpson is put on trial. And he is, you know, found acquitted for murdering uh, Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman. Now, many people think that. OJ was guilty. Everybody, everybody thinks he was guilty. Now a lot of people, you know, kind of think that he got away with it. They kind of think that maybe something could have been done to, to, to find him guilty. You know, his attorney, lead attorney John Co Johnny Cochran, um, another attorney, Peter Newfield, Ron Shapiro, Robert Kardashian, and Robert Blazer were his uh, attorneys. They called him the dream team. And when anybody gets convicted of, of a crime, well, you have a chance to, to prove yourself. You're innocent until proven guilty. And a lot of people lost faith, faith in our justice system after this happened because everybody felt that OJ did commit the murders. Savagely. And... You know, the DA's office, they put on their case. They thought they had a really good case against OJ, but 
they found out that um, the his defense attorney put on a better case, and that's what the jury believed. And it's sad because sometimes even the best evidence you have, a lot of people feel sometimes a better defense attorney will actually can beat you. And in this case, OJ had what they call the dream team. And they put on a better case. They was, were able to put out, put out something called reasonable doubt. And it takes one juror to say, you know something, I don't believe it happened. Seven, two, one, one. We, the jury, in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of penal. So, I, I do believe that the system failed Nicole Brown initially before this even, the murder even occurred. Could have saved her, could have arrested him, could have done more to protect her, but it didn't. It's just, it's sad that she lost her life because of the system not helping her. Um, you know, I mean, there's two ways to look at it. You know, you, you, know, you kind of see movies all the time where they go, oh yeah, he can just hire some high, high end attorney and get off for DWI or get off on this or get off for murder or get off for whatever he did, he can just hire an attorney. And, um, you know, sometimes the, the more money you have, the better chance you have of being found not guilty or found uh, not, you know, uh, responsible for what you did. And Gloria Aldridge also said the system failed her. But eventually, um, OJ did go to prison. In 2007, he was uh, accused of, there were some memorabilia sales people selling some of his things. He wanted his stuff back. So he broke into this room and took his stuff back. And allegedly that he wasn't supposed to do it, but they arrested him. He said that he illegally entered the room. And so they convicted him. He spent nine years in prison. So he eventually got to prison, but not for murder, but for something else. But... I think the, my biggest takeaway from this whole thing is that somebody lost their life when it could have been saved a long time ago. It could have been saved if the system had done something for her being domestically abused. And I just wish somebody could have saved her. Because celebrities have, you know, they have their their their, their face for television, for, for what people want to see. And they also have another part that you don't see we didn't see this part of oj simpson on money night football and 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 you know these type things we just saw the the celebrity side that's what i saw but he's lost his life and from what i understand now that they're the goldman's are trying to get some of his assets after he passed away and those type things i mean all that things left up to the courts and uh because there wasn't um they they did sue um oj civilly and want a judgment against him for wrongful death so they may get part of his estate in the end who knows leave that up to the judges but i'm more concerned about the domestic uh abuse and here to tell you ladies and gentlemen if you're involved in any kind of domestic abuse male or female get help or get out of the relationship you know do what you got to do to protect yourself because you never know what people are capable of no matter how much money they have no matter who they think they are protect yourself get it documented make police reports but do everything you can to protect yourself and your family and friends because like i said i do think the system failed her a long time ago and it could have protected her so we're going to wrap the show up by saying that if you're in some in type of domestic abuse, get help. Get help, get help, reach out as much, tell somebody, get some help from somebody, male or female, because it can't happen. If you don't protect yourself, you're gonna be physically abused and mentally abused after it. So please get help. Because something like this can happen to anybody. It can happen to celebrities, it can happen to anybody. So please protect yourself. Okay. 
I'm Detective Gomez. I want to thank you for being part of our show today. And uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Also, we want to thank our sponsor, Mr. Juan Hernandez. He's a personal injury attorney here in Dallas, Texas. You can contact him at 214-900-0000 or visit him at juanlaw.com. If you've been involved in a car accident, he can help you. If you've been injured in a car accident, he can help you. He's helped me, and I know he can help you. But call, call today. Don't wait too late. All right? And, of course, you can visit me at DetectiveGomez.com. For all your investigation needs in the Dallas Fort Worth area, call me. I can help you. Call me. Background checks, GPSs, uh, uh, non-compete uh, contracts, uh, all kinds of things. But call me, ask questions. I'll do what I can to help you. All right? Detective Gomez, thanks for being part of the show today. And I'll see you next time. Take care.